Hi, I'm Marissa Kozlov. Welcome back to eMarketer Industry Voices, where we bring you perspectives on how marketers are working through challenges and what they envision for the future. With me today is Alessio Rossi, Executive Vice President and Head of Digital Transformation at Shiseido. Alessio, nice to have you with us. Hi, Marissa. Pleasure to be with you today. Alessio, it is well known that the pandemic accelerated the shift to e-commerce, and along those lines, Shiseido has some pretty big goals to have 35% of your total sales coming from e-commerce channels by 2023. So what needs to happen in the next two years to hit that benchmark? Well, as a matter of fact, we already exceeded that benchmark throughout the pandemic, which gave us a boost. And we were fortunate and ready to pivot as fast as we could at the onset of the pandemic back in February and March 2020. The organization was ready, platforms were ready, and actually customers were ready to shift online at an unprecedented speed. We will continue to work very, very diligently in the areas of personalization and automation of services so that our benchmarks continue to exceed. And as a matter of fact, we think we could reach 50% of total business by the end of 2023. Wow, congratulations and amazing to exceed that goal and boost it up now to, to 50%. Personalization and retention are now more important than ever, but both of these require an investment in marketing technology and data collection. How is Shiseido collecting and leveraging first party data? This is an investment that brands have to do if they really want to reach the holy grail of personalization. There are actually two investments to be done. One is in technology, so that brands can collect first-party data, which we do primarily through our websites and through interactions with media. And the second investment, which to me is just as important, is in creativity. In fact, once you have developed an ability to reach that specific consumer, you want to make sure you have something meaningful to say. And consumers want to be treated as individuals. So content production is a big topic for us as we're moving away from broadcasting and we're moving into one-to-one -one relationships as much as we can. Personalized message goes a long way, that's for sure. Let's now talk about some of your products. I understand that you've recently relaunched your men's product line, which is part of an overall focus on holistic beauty across the entire portfolio. So with this focus on men, do you plan to incorporate any new channels or sponsorship opportunities into your marketing mix? Men's are a big focus for us. In fact, we, to your point, we just relaunched our entire collection and we have streamlined it, simplified it so that it's very easy to navigate it. This collection will be sold primarily online where we see that this is a channel of preference for men and it will be advertised and explained through key partnerships. I think you're referencing to the first partnership of this type with the Barcelona, the soccer team. We are particularly excited about that. The partnership has been designed to work primarily in Europe right now and in Asia at a certain extent, but it will extend possibly to other markets like the Americas in the upcoming years. Good to hear about those newer partnerships. Earlier this year, Shiseido became an official partner of the We Are One Ocean campaign, which calls for 30% protection of the ocean by the year of 2030. Why is sustainability an important platform for your brand? We believe sustainability should be an important platform for any brands in the world, whatever the industry they're in. But for Shiseido, who is founded on a foundational value of respect, Respecting the environment is a top priority. We are committed to use renewable resources as much as we can, to reduce the usage of plastic, to put in the market packaging that is recyclable, and to decrease as much as we can consumption of water. It is a long path to get there, with steps that are being undertaken across all the functions in the organization, but we're truly committed to be a leader in that space. Well, thank you so much for those efforts to keep both our oceans and our planets clean. Alessio, lastly, next year marks Shiseido's 150th anniversary. What plans do you have to mark this huge milestone? I know it's actually incredible that we are eventually 150 years young, as we keep saying internally. This is a huge legacy that we have. 
We started 150 years ago with one concept in mind, which in Japanese is called omotenashi. It is loosely translated in hospitality in English, but it actually means much more. Omotenashi means that when you visit us, we know you so well that the experience with us is going to be flawless and you will leave a Shiseido happier than before. And we believe that today we can continue with the concept of hospitality, empowering our people with data and technology so that the personalization can scale and the ability to know you as a consumer is actually provided through these platforms. So it's an exciting new chapter in our life. Well, thank you for sharing that principle of omotenashi and as well as the principle of respect that you mentioned as well. They couldn't be more important today. Alessio, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. And thanks to all of you for tuning in to Industry Voices. We'll see you soon. And until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and please wear a mask. And Moby helps you understand, identify, engage, and acquire your customers. In Moby, driving real connections.